Okay, we're back to our previous file again here. And let's look at our next option. We have lock all layers in group and link layers. And then we kind of go off page and I have a little screenshot of that. Let's take a look at our locking our layers. If I click on a group here, group two has those layers. Let's open group two up. As we have the ellipse and the rectangle, they're not locked together. If I move the whole group, I can move things around. And let's undo that. There we go. So I can move things around because they're grouped. I can move them as a group, but they're not locked. If I come down here and click on just the ellipse, I can move the ellipse all by itself. So they're not linked, to, not locked together. But if we click on the group, I can lock the whole group right here. Let's click on lock. This locks them and now they can't be moved, as you can see here, or anything else. So they're locked in place. I can unlock them again. Now, all I can do with the group is just lock or unlock the whole group. Let's take a look at that over here. You can lock all layers in group. If you use this option, we have more options up here. We can, I can lock everything, or I can lock just the position, or just the transparency setting, or just the image. So it's the image is the content, transparency is what is around the content, position is the movement, and then all is all of these together. So if I want to lock just the transparency of these, I can't do it up here. Let's say I don't have access, that's that one right there, I don't have access to that in the panel. But I do have access over here in the lock all layers from group, choose OK. And they're now locked on transparency. As you can see, I can still move them around, but the transparency is protected. I can prove that. Let's go up here to our paintbrush. And notice I can't paint in there. So they've been locked and protected that way. Notice I can still move them around individually as well, but I can't paint into them. So you have a little more control over your locking of items in groups if you use the option right here because it brings up this little box and you can choose any one of the locking options. Now to unlock these, I can lock and unlock those that this other lock stays locked. To unlock these, I have to go back up to that menu item again. And in here I can then lock and unlock and that should unlock it. There you go. So that is using a little menu option gives you a, a little more control over locking or unlocking items inside of a group. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.